Hello again. So I got my half angle formulas for the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. And I want to do a quick, really easy example. Uh, when you're usually doing this though, if you want to sign the, find the sine of 22.5, you know, which is half of 45, or if you want to sign the, excuse me, find the sine of 15 or cosine of 15, which is half of 30, they don't tend to be written very student friendly. I mean, the answer does work, and a lot of students doubt their work and what they get, but what you do is you just check it in the calculator really quickly. You check what you wrote, and then you just plug in sine of 15, and you make sure that your decimals match up. But uh, you know, a lot of students don't really like this and they say, can you just show me one where I can actually see where it works right away? And I said, yeah, sure, that you know, sounds like a good one to me. So basically what I want to do is I'm going to use this one right here. That's the first one. Sine of uh, theta over 2. And what I'm basically trying to do is I'm trying to find the sine of 90 degrees. Uh, the sine of 90 degrees is 1. I can prove that it's 1, actually. See if you figure this out. So what I want to do in order to figure out the sine of 90 degrees is I actually want to plug in 180 for the theta. And what's that, what that's going to do is going to be, it's going to 108, what that will do is it's going to be 180 over 2, which will be 90 degrees. So I'm going to plug in 180 for each theta and kind of prove, well, show that this side will equal that side. So when I do that, I'm going to substitute in 180 for my theta. the sine of 180 degrees over 2, and it's equal to uh, plus or minus square root of 1 minus the cosine of theta, so it's 1 minus the cosine 180 degrees over 2. And let's see what happens. Sine of 180 over 2 is actually the sine of 90 degrees, which is going to be 1. This is going to be plus or minus square root 1 minus the cosine of 180. Well, the cosine of 180 is negative 1. It's all over 2. One minus negative 1 is actually 1 plus 1, which is 2 over 2. Now this is going to cause a little bit of a stir here, a little bit of a problem. And there's something that you have to recognize when you do this. You have to know uh, when a sine is positive or negative, when a cosine is positive or negative, and when a tangent is positive or negative. So the sine of 90 degrees is equal to plus or minus square root 1, that's 1. Now, the question is, is it plus or minus 1? And what you do is you say, okay, if I draw myself a unit circle, that's the best I can do. 90 degrees is right here. Well, the sine is positive in both those quadrants. All students take calculus. All of them are positive. Sine is positive. Tangent, cosine is positive. So since the sine is positive in both of these quadrants, it stands that it's positive in the middle of both of those quadrants. So we actually only take into account one. Now, most of your answers when you end up doing this are going to be pretty brutal. What I mean by that, very simple, some, simply is like if you do like a uh, sine of 200, excuse me, 25 degrees or, you know, well, 25 degrees wouldn't really work. Sine of 22.5, you're going to get something like, you know, like root 2 minus, you know, fourth root of 3 or, you know, square root minus uh, 2 minus root 3 over something. It's just, it's pretty brutal. Uh, just stay with it. Use your good algebra skills in order to do that. It's not the trick that's going to get you on a lot of these problems. It's actually just the algebra that's going to get you, you know, working with conjugates, rationalizing the denominator, etc. Uh, but with that said, that's a brief tutorial, a little lesson on half-angle formulas. I hope you found that helpful. Have a good day for now.